Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators basically are the symbols that tell us what we want to do with our values. Okay, so in other words, it's like a number plus. So the plus sign is the arithmetic operator, okay? Nothing fancy, nothing strange. We could put it in the print and run it, and that'll give us the answer. We could do minus. We can do multiplication, which is the asterisk above the 8. So shift 8. And we can finally do division with a forward slash, which is just left of the right shift key. Okay, notice that's a double. And so let's say int a equals 55 int b equals 3 and I'll also say int c equals a divided by b and we'll put a c here and again we'll run it this actually is giving us a warning it'll work anyway but it'll give us a warning saying uh, that's actually not an integer okay so you might not know that so I'll just put num inside here because sometimes I'm going to say minus and that would be an int, right? All right. What if a little bit more complicated stuff, not super complicated, but let's just say, take this back again. What is this? What this value actually says is it says, let, let's make it a little bit easier for me. 6, and I'm going to change that to a 4. What's that saying? So that basically is saying, we'll comment this out, show you what it should be. 6 divided by 4 is the same as 4 divided by 4 plus 2 divided by 4. Okay, if this is too basic, I'm really sorry. I just want to make sure that we understand this. So, C is equal to 6 over 4, which is the same thing as 4 over 4 plus 2 over 4, right? That's all it really means. And that's why you get 1, 4 over 4 is 1, 2 over 4 is 0.5, is a half, right? So 1.5, that's what you get. But what if you just want this front part, all right? You're not asking for the whole value. I just want to know how many times does 4 go actually into 6? One time, right? How do I get that? That is going to be the tilde forward slash. So that is, um, the tilde is the shift, in, it's the key on the left upper side right below the escape key. So that's going to give me 1 right inside here. Again, we're not rounding. If we were rounding it, the value would be 2. But all we're saying is that how many times does it go into this? What's another way of representing this? 1 remainder 2 right? So you could also say this is one remainder too. So all we're saying is that it is the one value right here. Now what if I want the remainder two? Well the remainder two is the percent sign, shift five. That'll get us the two right inside of here. There are times when you want to know this. How many times does it go inside of it? What is the remainder? An easy way to do a remainder basically is an, an easy purpose, I should say, of using the remainder is, what if you want to find out if something is odd or even, right? By definition, if it's even, it is divisible by 2. If it's odd, by definition, it is not. So if a number divide by 2, the remainder is 0, by definition, it's even, right? So that's an even number. What if I put 7 there? Remainder is 1 because it's odd. What if I put an 8 here? Remainder is 0 because it's even. So this is one way in which we can determine characteristics of the value C beyond just the number itself, right? So we could get the value, but we could also find out is it even or odd just that way, all right? So that's pretty neat in the very beginning. And what we've done basically is made our first calculator. If you sat on your calculator or something like that and don't have a piece of paper to do quick calculations, you can always use the dark pad to go, uh, what is this? 
multiplied by this. Oh yeah, that's the number itself, right? Of course, you could probably always, always Google a calculator and get a web calculator much faster, but that's beside the point, right? At least we can do something like this. And I think that's about it. Just as a review of something from before, what if I put final here? And then I said a equals 33. And this equals 2, 25. So I cannot reassign the value right there. It'll give me a problem, an error, right? Completely unrelated. I just wanted to review that one more time since we're using the variables. I think reviewing is always a good idea. That actually works. You can, of course, always reassign the value somewhere here. Equals 10 and B equals 5. So that will get me 50, right? Because the last value it is given applies. So this is the, here originally. We're changing the value. Initialized here, changing the value. Now it's going to be 10 times 5. 50. Okay, just as a review. So let's keep going on. I hope this was helpful. Not much, not that complicated, but we're going to be using a lot th this a lot in the future. Thank you.